get is no doubt to the fact that Jhumpa Lahiri is a magician. I finished the namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri in a day. A single day I was in a reading slump because I couldn't really find any interesting book. I don't know why no book seemed to pull me in but then I started the namesake which was delivered to me just a couple of days ago and I finished it as well and trust me guys I love this book so much. Now dating back uh, around 2 or 3 years I read the interpreter of melodies and I loved it so much each and every story in interpreter of melodies was great. Comparatively the namesake falls short because even though it's quite a long novel it doesn't really have a very strong stern ending which failed to um excite my taste buds at the end because i was looking for a really really strong ending though the ending is really good but i felt that it could have been better now without any further ado i'll get to the review of this book if you look at the cover this is the cover of the movie the name sake which i haven't seen yet i will be seeing it as i told you guys i don't really like to watch movies first and then read the book so i went on to read this first now in the movie irfan khan and tabu acted as the elder sorry as the parents and kal pen acted as their son and i quite forgot the name of the actress who acted as their daughter so this story is about ashima and ashok who migrate to america for work and they give birth to ashok and sonia there who are their children as they are native indians they have indian culture in them which the children don't really recognize now their son who is actually named nikhil was initially named gogol after nikolai gogol who was the favorite author of uh, irfan khan here that is ashok now the problem arises when gogol starts hating his name because in america a name like name like gogol ganguly is really really weird on his 18th birthday he officially changes his name but then quite a few incidents uh, come into his life through which he realizes that his name is not really an insult to him and that realization is actually the story of this book now jhumpa lahiri's writing style is such a fabulous one i don't think any writer has ever made me love language so much as jhumpa lahiri has because she takes the bengal culture into her hands and molds it into a pot like an amazing skillful artisan and that's what i love so much about her there's the marriage scene there's the counting on finger she refers to them as ladders on finger and that's such a beautiful reference because i don't think i could have thought of it i love jhumpa lahiri's language so much and that's why i read this book actually because even though a lot of people had told me that jhumpa lahiri's novels are not that good they are repetitive i am pretty sure i'm going to read the lowland and an accustomed earth because of the language yeah i feel that we should read literature not just for the story but for the language i feel that language is the most important thing about literature you can't write a good story and call it literature if it does not have a good language now i know there are some exceptions but that's just my point of view i would like to know what you guys think okay so drop it in a comment below and i rate name sake 4.5 out of 5 stars i hope a lot of you guys have already read it in case you haven't please do you are going to love it if you don't want to read it you can watch the movie but i really don't prefer it personally now um if you guys haven't really realized it i am using a new camera yay and trust me guys it was so expensive it's not really a dslr it's a camera on my mobile and the mobile is 16 megapixels so the camera quality is quite good because my previous one was 8 megapixels so it wasn't really that good and on top of that i used to use the front camera because i couldn't figure out any way how you how i can use the rear camera so i hope all that adds up to a better quality picture and you're enjoying my videos more than you did before 
If you do, then please leave a comment below, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back with another video next week. Till then, bye bye.